Hello and welcome back to Dragon Spear. As you can see, I literally left off right where I, or I picked up right where I left off, just not even stopping a beat. All right, let's go ahead and start again and I see what I can do. If I remember correctly, you need to have three prizes this first time you visit him, which is either I want to say it's just three victories is what you need, but we'll find out. It might be like nine games, but three victories, I remember. But let's just go ahead and stick to Yellowstone. Yellowstone I like the most, so. That's a good safe route. Haha. -ha. Yes, you have. Uh, let's do red, get some points. Yes, you have. Let's try green. No, nope. I tried. See, it's really easy to rack up points with the yellow. Yellow really is probably the safest route to choose. Ha! Nice! Two in a row! Wow! That doesn't usually happen. Ah, excellent. Well, absolutely, at this rate. See, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but there's just something about this game, like, it's so much fun, because it's, once you get used to it, it's really simple, and you can just, like, really quickly fall, fly through, but oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I would love to as long as there's no money wager, <laughs> I would play this game all day long. Yeah, I tried. And before he gets a purple. No, good. Let's try a purple, let's just see what happens. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I really don't like picking purples. Purples are just too risky. Oh, my God. Every once in a while, when the computer is getting un like enough points to win, he'll draw a purple, and he'll just skyrocket past, because it'll come up a purple, and he'll win, and I'll be frustrated. Nice! Three in a row! That's actually, like, earlier when I was playing this, it took me like 20 tries to get the three prizes. I really do want to, but uh, I have other things to do, I'm sorry. Because trust me, I really would like to. If I remember correctly, you do have to come at, come back and play two more games with him, so don't worry, this isn't the end of Khalif and this wonderful gem game. I believe I think I'm going to skip that dialogue, I'm sorry. Yes, I will, I promise. For your victories, I promise you prizes. I have many trinkets and things for your amusement. Oh, you do, do you? Then we will speak about the sorcerer. We will, will we? This interesting-looking mess is what the Kalish calls takshashil. It appears to be a sticky mixture of dates, honey, and coconut with some unidentifiable ribbons of brown thrown in for good measure. I want to say that sounds tasty. I like dates, I like honey, and I like coconut. I don't know what ribbons of brown are though, so... But I don't, mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. It sounds like it might be tasty. The Caliph seems to think that this statue is beautiful and meaningful, but to you it looks like a heavy lump of cheap grade gold with a bad disposition. Ah, oh, well. This beautiful piece of jewelry must have cost the Caliph a fortune. How odd that he should part with it so easily. Ah, uh, thank you, great Caliph, for whatever help. I thank you, great Caliph, for whatever help you can give. Must always flatter. I will tell you what I know. Thank you. There is one prophecy I have heard. <laughs> you will think it silly. It goes, the stone trap cannot be defeated on the level. I don't know if it refers to a trap made of stone, or a thing that traps stone. I also understand that in your language the phrase, on the level, can be used to mean, this is the truth. I am sorry I cannot leave more help. 
I don't actually remember what that's referring to. But I love that he tries to explain. He's like, I don't know what means what or how it works in your language. This is all I can tell you. I thank you for all that you have done, but now I must take my leave. I understand. Return someday, O great king, and we will game again. Yay. Ah, oh, I'll miss you. You were awesome. I can't wait to come back and play. I really like that game. I sorry, I'll stop bragging about the game. Let's go ahead and talk to these guys again now that we're done with the Caliph, because I believe they've got one more thing to tell us that we need to be on the lookout for. Will you take me to the spirit plane? The journey takes power great, fair one. Our power comes from items used in ceremony and magic. We require payment in kind. I have to pay you? Oh man. The spirit bundle is the most useful item to us. It is made of bone and rare feathers wrapped around the core of magic. If you find one, bring it to us and we will be happy to carry you to the spirit plane. Okay, so I've got bone, which is important. I, I know where the feathers are, but I don't remember what the magic core is. Bye, We're almost getting to the point where I stopped earlier today in a different save, so it'll start being the blind part here in a minute. Well, let's go ahead and we'll leave leaving this beautiful, beautiful water behind. By the way, when you do... Here, let's go ahead and try and fill my goblet with the water, and we'll find out something very interesting. You always carry plenty of water in a small water skin on your belt. You take care of that sort of thing automatically without even thinking about it. There's no need to take more water. And yet if you walk too far in the desert, you'll still die. Do you, I guess every time you take a step you drink some of your water skin, maybe? It's the only thing I can think of. If you've got one on you, might as well use it. Luckily though, this will go ahead and pop us back out to the lean-to. We'll notice that the traitor is gone. And we can just go ahead and head back to the kingdoms. Um, the nice thing about this is that whenever you do go back to see the Caliph, you can just go to the west, I believe. It's always the west. And it'll just pop you back out. You don't have to navigate the desert anymore. Oh, he's stirring. Oh, there's cracking. It's going to burst any moment. All is lost. Calm yourself. This no more than we expected. I know. But I was hoping... I know, but take heart. Before he vanished, Mirtam said that the sorcerer would emerge when the dragon sphere had burst apart. And that is not even close to happening, as you can see. No. Then there is more time? Yes. Now go to the courtyard and play at javelins, my dear. It will calm you. Play at javelins. Yeah. Throwing things, with sharp pointy objects. That sounds like a great idea for a queen. I always thought the dragon spear looked really cool just as a stone. Alright, time for us to head to High Tower. This will probably be one of the last places we go before we start using the items that we have and actually solving some other puzzles that this game has thrown at us. It's a funny looking bubble. Yeah. It's all on my cloak. Well, let's just kind of take a look around real quick in the mountainside. The sheer face of the mountain rises steeply up to the sorcerer's tower far above. Most of the rock face looks utterly unclimbable. However, there is a spot over here we can climb, but right now our attention is to this small little figure here who occasionally will turn her head. Let's go ahead and talk to this stranger. Show yourself, varlet, or I'll run you through. Yes, that's a great idea. Now let's let's be nice. Come on, you did it. Hiding like a thief is part of the cover. I beg your pardon, Your Majesty. I merely wish to make sure it was you before I revealed myself. I am Lady the Summer, Duchess of one of your subject realms. My father sits on your council. She's probably the daughter of the uh, councilman who, who liked me, who thought I was a good king. Probably, I would say. 
um, a bit far from home. I mean, yeah, we could, you know, assume that she's flattering us, but ah, it's kind of pretentious, as if, I think, you know. You're not needed here. Oh, it's kind of rude. She must have come here for a reason. A bit far from home, aren't you, my lady did summon? Aye, but when I heard of your quest, and that they had allowed you to go alone, I had to find you. I offer you a gift for luck, my dear, and the service of my sword to aid you in your quest. Apparently the king is very sexist. Your aid will only endanger us both. Please go at once. Ouch, that's harsh. Um, I dare not endanger one so lovely. I'm a married man. Oh, I do appreciate your loyalty, though. I appreciate your loyalty, but I must do this alone. No, my king. It's noble of you to endanger none but yourself. But I swear that two are always better than one. I fear for you. Please let me know. Ah. Uh. Our last time I chose, you know, you mentioned a gift, I just kind of ignored what she said, but I think, um, I don't think it matters too terribly much which one you choose. I will do the honor bound, though. I am honor bound to reject your aid, so I'll take your gift. Very well, Lord. This amulet I wear is a charm passed down through the De Summers family for generations. It is said to have mystical power, but it is mostly a good luck charm. Are you? Oh, thanks. I mean, no, well, I could use luck. Luck's always nice to have, but, you know, something with actual magic to it would be great. Why is that? The mad maid who made this amulet said that its true powers could only be used after the wearer had been pronounced dead. <laughs> Any such power is rather useless to the wearer, don't you think? To my knowledge, it has never been invoked. But wear it for luck anyway. I can do that. The amulet is unproposed. Unproposed. Oh my gosh. The amulet is unprepossessing enough. Plain gold and not a very valuable gem set in its middle and shows no sign of being magical. It's clearly the thought that counts. I'm horribly sorry for that word. I. My brain is not working at 1.10 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your gift. You know. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Ah, no. Thank for your gift, Duchess. Now go. Goodbye, my lord. And may the gods watch over you in your quest. Perhaps someday we shall meet again. Farewell. She is just gonna kinda lean against the rock, you know, just kind of waiting. Let's go ahead and head down this way. We'll find some other goodies for us to take a look at. Like this cave here. What's this cave doing here, I wonder? Hmm. Ah, we'll come back to that later. Oh look, there's a man in here. you get here? How did you get here? One day I woke up and took a walk outside and there was a wall around the room. I couldn't go anywhere else, so here I stayed. I've been here a long, long time. I want to say I remember who he is, but I could be wrong, You've so I'm not going to say anything. Years, Twenty? What's that? Twenty years, huh? Imagine that. You look familiar. Have I seen you before? Here in this cave is the first time you and I have ever spoken to one another. I'm sure of it. You say so. What are you doing? So 
sort of secrets do you know? Eh, secrets are nice. What sort of secrets do you know? Uh, I know many things. I know that soap is made by mixing ashes with oil or fat. The lie in the ash breaks down the oils in the fat and on your hands and thus cleans them. That's weird. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> glad uh, Cal and I have the same mindset. Are you a monk? Oh no, no, not me, not a monk. I serve no deity here. I simply hide. Well, hide from what? From what do you oh, hide? Excuse me. What's that? You avoided my question. <laughs> what can you tell me about the tower? The tower, eh? Why do you want to know about that? I got a score to settle. I gotta kill him. I have a score to settle with the sorcerer. Do you now? Brave lad to face so powerful a mage. I tell you, Sonny, unless you have the power stones, you might as well turn back now. Oh, and come see me Yeah, but you seem to know what you're talking about. So, since you know about the Power Stones... What can you tell me about the Power Stones? There are prophecies about them and about Sandweed. The stones were created generations ago as a defense against the Sorcerer, but his agents stole them and scattered them about the kingdom before they could be used. Two are in the possession of the kings of the various realms. The location of the third is unknown. Yay! I don't actually remember how you get the third. How do I use the stones to defeat the sorcerer? No one knows. Some say you must have all three. Others say it only takes one stone to defeat it. I don't know why the stories conflict. It doesn't matter anyway. We are all doomed. Go away. Well, fine, then I'll leave. You gave me a lot of information, though. Oh, let's go ahead and pick up this, um, take. I always look for the pick up command from, like, uh, other point and click adventure games. Let's go ahead and take this nugget. It takes only a moment to dig the soft earth from around the nugget. Then, with a mighty heave, you pry it loose from the ground. Alright, let's go ahead and head back over this way, and we will start scaling the mountain. Because that sounds like fun, you know? Oh, and as we can tell, she is gone. Back to her home, probably. Let's go ahead and climb up this stone and... Uh, Start this wonderful trek. Ah, uh, you're a braver man than I. I've done rock climbing before, and it was really fun, but you know, that was in a uh, indoor controlled environment that I had someone spotting me. Doing this, while it would be fun, would probably terrify me. Alright, what I'm gonna go ahead and do once he stops and takes a breather. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take these feathers because we're going to need them for the um... Oh, I didn't read that. I'm sorry. Let's look at these. The feathers are long and black and slightly shiny. They are as large as an ostrich feather, but more closely remember those of a crow. Um, we're going to need these for that spirit bundle, but I am gonna go ahead and end the video here. So let me save so I don't fall off the uh, mountainside because that's never good. We never want to fall. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful evening.